Next tag team match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, with a combined weight of 392 pounds, Sho and Yo, they are Rapongi 3K! Rapungi 3K. Their manager, Rocky Romero. Fortunately for him, suffered a loss against Jushin Thunder Liger today. But for this tag team unit, I would imagine that this will look a little bit, I would say, a little different for this team, given their chemistry, given their capability. I got to talk about what happened with Bullet Club earlier on with G.O.D., and I imagine that it could be the same thing here for Rapungi 3K. Yeah, coming into this match, an established tag team going to be going up against Ryusuke Taguchi as well as Dragon Lee. They kind of have like a pseudo faction going on with the whole Taguchi Japan thing, right? But definitely not going to be on the same level of chemistry as Rapongi 3K. Rapongi 3K are, for me, one of the most impressive new tag teams around in the world. Um, you look at what they've done already in just under a year in New Japan 2. IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Title runs, correct? Yes. They won the Super Junior Tag 2017 tournament as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, went on to win the titles afterwards. And of course, Sho and Yo, some of the first batch, or part of the first crop of young lions we saw in New Japan World go from young boys to full-fledged wrestlers and uh, full-time champions. Important to note as well, they actually took the belts off of uh, Toguchi for their first junior heavyweight tag title run a great team indeed looking to get a victory here in Daytona what a crowd we have not too sure about the footwear introducing though, sometimes you know, introducing I can't, I can't their opponents introducing their opponents with a combined weight of 366 pounds Ryusuke Taguchi and Dragon Lee Sometimes I do see Yo and Sho wearing uh, wearing some footwear that looks kind of like uh, Shao Hai's Yeezys. Ooh. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> well, their opponents, Dragon Lee, Ryosuke, Taguchi. Yeah, you know, their outfits might not be the real deal, but these guys, Taguchi, a legend in his own right, right? Multiple time IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. And this man that just came out, Dragon Lee, I mean, he's already a superstar, right? But this man is definitely a future superstar of CMLL, uh, already very successful in that organization, and one of the premier, not only Mexican wrestlers, but wrestlers in the world period. Dragon Lee actually managed to pick up a victory at the Battle of the Super Juniors against Sho earlier. So this has been, uh, if, if anything, Dragon Lee very familiar with his opponent going in to this matchup here at the Ocean Center. And Taguchi, well, I think Taguchi is just here to have a good time. Oh, as always. <laughs> of course, cheering on the Japanese soccer team in the World Cup has had a lot of encouraging words from Coach Taguchi. It's what's propelled them to their success so far. Japanese uh, fans are obviously very, very happy to have avoided England uh, in the next round. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the United States was so good they just weren't invited. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, the matchup's about to begin here in just a little bit. That guy in the front row's definitely got his money's worth. He show. definitely has. You he, are I correct. I think he's gotten, like, beat up by, <laughs> by was it, a, uh, Tamataga. Oh, yeah. He dude. got beat up by Tamataga. He got uh, David Finlay thrown on him. He's got a couple two sweets as well. Yeah. Some glasses from Taguchi. I mean, yeah. You it's a good night tonight. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned earlier, right, that Dragon Lee's going to be familiar with these opponents, and that's a very true, despite him not being a full-time New Japan wrestler, right? Definitely his primary promotion is CMLL in Mexico, but his career has really been tied to New Japan ever since he burst onto the scene because him and Hiromu Takahashi has, have had legendary matches, have had a legendary feud, and really ever since then his career has been tied to New Japan. And now the matchup begins as Rapungi 3K against Taguchi and Dragon Lee. Here we go. 
They'll run. We're going to decide who starts off the match. Looks like Yo wants to start it off for Rapungi 3K. Currently, Dragon Lee, the CMLL World Lightweight Champion. And known as the funky weapon, he has really put that tool to use more now in his career than he ever did before. This is just a very interesting team. <laughs> I feel like uh, they kind of came together. Dragon Lee was probably like, well, you know, <laughs> if I have to. You know, Dragon yeah. Lee's a fun guy, right? <laughs> Taguchi, one of the mentors and veterans of the junior division. I mean, you're only as strong as your weakest link, and sure, Dragon Lee might be the lightweight champion of CMLL, which is one of the most legendary and historic promotions in the world. Mm -hmm. But Sho and Yo have an incredible rise in under a year. Absolutely. And Dragon Lee has to partner with this fool, slapping his ass. He's more interested <laughs> in uh, entertaining these fans and getting the win. And well, you're dodging well and the funky good. weapon. You're dodging the funky weapon, Logan. That's all well and good if you, you know, if you care about going back to the gimmick table after the match, whether you win or lose. It's wild because that but all show and yo, they're about titles. They're about getting that W. And clearly something's going on here where they're just on the same page. Test of stamina. Yeah, who can run? The longest oh, no, in. Yo, yo's not, he's not hanging in there. They're doing, oh. they're doing blow up drills. Wait a minute, he goes, oh, plays that right to the back. back. Oh, no. And I think, <laughs> I think yo is just, oh man. Oh, he the is pin? feeling it. The cover. This isn't happening. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, they're, and they're awake. I guess we all need to be awake as well. <laughs> that was definitely uh, worthy of a Mr. Lariato or a TDE. GIF on Twitter. What an incredible athletic exchange that was. What trips me out about uh, Taguchi's tights is that the O is almost falling off. Like, you can tell my man has been putting that funky weapon to use. <laughs> he has. Like he has. Hold he back has of the tights got, looking rough. He has got a backside like a PlayStation 1 lid. There is <laughs> no... He needs to hit that squat rack three a day. Is it like more old gen or is it like the, the new, you know, like PS1 when it was like PS1 or the PS1. PlayStation? PS1. Okay, so it's a little round but the mostly lid. flat. Fair enough. Fair enough. And now it's going to be Dragon Lee in the ring with Sho from Rapungi 3K. Dragon Lee asking for the forearms and it's basically a test of strength, a test of endurance at this point in time for both of these fine competitors right in the middle of the ring and the crowd is all about this as they exchange left, right, left, right. This is absurd. They're going back and forth here. I've seen Dragon Lee take insane amounts of punishment. I don't know if you want to do this with this man. It's either they're running in the middle of the ring or they're punching the living crap out of each other. One way or another, this has been a very entertaining matchup thus far as both competitors run right against one another, and Dragon Lee goes in there for the shoulder charge, but Sho's able to stand tall, and there goes the kick right to the midsection. Dragon Lee just wants to put this one away as soon as he possibly can, but a nice hurt can run to the reversal from Dragon Lee. Incredible athleticism from these two competitors. The strength of Sho, though. Dragon Lee big uh, for a... Junior heavyweight carrying a lot of muscle, and that was very impressive wow. strength from the shredded. Yeah, the showed Right? The, the three of these guys' bodies are OD, I'm, I'm and, then, and then you see Taguchi. <laughs> hey, listen but He's here, a veteran, man. you know, and he's got the smarts to make up Taguchi, for Taguchi's Taguchi's Taguchi Taguchi's got looks the like brains. he's made out of spoiled milk. <laughs> I disagree. Oh, and listen, okay, some, one time I, I had spoiled milk with my cookie crisp, and it what? wasn't very good. But I didn't notice because Cookie Crisp is so sweet. And that's basically where I'm going with that story. So you're saying Dragon Lee is the Cookie Crisp in this scenario? He's as sweet as a Cookie Crisp. All right. And <laughs> Taguchi's the spoiled milk. We're going to see how this cookie crumbles, aren't we, Golden Boy? Oh, indeed. Indeed we are, my friend. I, this has just gone absolutely off the rails. But Taguchi. He's, he's off the ring. Yeah, he's, he's off the ring indeed. That's going to leave Dragon Lee by himself it's time with for both his members. Afternoon nap there. Punky 3K going right after Dragon Lee, giving him no time to breathe. Suplex right at the center of the ring. That's got to hurt. That show goes for the pin. And seeing this proper 
harmonious, synchronized tag team wrestling. The double team is on point. The execution of these double team maneuvers is seamless. These guys went on excursion together, which is a, a rare thing to, for a young Lions. Mm -hmm. um, normally they're sent out on their own, but uh, they definitely did uh, their tenure in Ring of Honor as the Tempura boys. Trained in Mexico as well. Yeah, yeah. so they've got that worldwide uh, experience but they were training their tag team wrestling together as he's well. got to use the funky weapon you got to let him do it man that must be so effective because you're you're basically hitting his his hip bone there's no meat there <laughs> it's just bone on bone it's like uh, getting hit with a oh oh like an old soup bone around the head oh yo calling for the break a Toru Yano s chan here what is going Any on? DVDs on sale? Joe Bailey should come out and sell the Yo. sell his match on DVD. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> <laughs> he would definitely have the Toriano interest. Yeah, next time we do this, we have to get Toriano over next year. Start slanging the CEO DVDs. Just, and just of Joe Bailey's match, too. Not even of the whole yeah. show. I mean, that matchup was uh, the length of a full DVD, so... <laughs> I mean, it felt like it and Actually, Joe Bailey making his way out to the ring was the length <laughs> of a full DVD. <laughs> So I think you're definitely going to get your money's worth if you just want to see a man struggle over a railing. Yo, he has locked Dragon Lee up oh. and tripped him to the ground. And Dragon Lee's been taking a lot of punishment here as Taguchi hasn't really had much of an opportunity to get in. Cutting the ring in half. Show and Yo, Rapungi 3K in full control in this matchup here in Daytona. Tag comes in for Yo. Yeah, and they're operating as well as we thought they would, right? Former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions uh, went on their excursion together. These guys have tremendous chemistry at this point. And again, they, up against Figure four. We hear the woos up against the uh, you know, hodgepodge team of Dragon Lee and Taguchi. It's going to be harder to deal with. This is dangerous here for Dragon Lee. He's at the rope. He's trying to get the break, but the referee simply has not been able to turn around because he's so predisposed with Taguchi and Sho. This is such a veteran move from Show, right? The young, oh, well, formerly young lion, just out of his excursion. And that's oh, the funky weapon strikes! Get him out of the ring, ref. He had to even the odds. Hit him just right with the bone. Listen, the only <laughs> crime is getting caught. Facts. I feel like, you know, uh, uh, Renji, you're getting kind of brought to the dark side here, but I, he he is speaking. You facts. can't argue with facts. You can have your opinion, but facts be facts. And Taguchi really at this point just not helping out Dragon Lee here. And the punishment continues there at the corner. Rapungi 3K continuing to just be in control. Ooh. But Dragon Lee is able to fight back. He's going to shoot that drop kick. It's going to send Sho right out of this one here. And Dragon Lee now once again trips him down. Comes through. What a kick right to the face. Manages oh. a flip from that German, looking for another one, sends it to the ropes, and beautiful! Spanish fly! Standing Spanish fly. Incredible from Dragon Lee, finally gets some uh, room to breathe. And he's gonna need oh. Taguchi. Taguchi, the funky weapon, is in the ring, and now it's take your pick. Oh, he is playing any mini mini mo. Let's call this a lukewarm tag rather than a oh. hot tag. Oh. oh, the funky weapon continues to strike. Oh. Time and time again. That thing should be illegal. Right oh. to the outside. Oh, my goodness gracious to Gucci. Oh, he's not stopping. Ref got to get out of the way. Right oh. over the top rope. Unbelievable to Gucci. I think he's broken his hip. To Gucci. You shouldn't be doing that at your age. The coach flips right over. And guess what lands right on Yo's face? Wait a minute. The funky weapon. What is this? The coach is coming down, the real coach. Coach Romero trying to get his boys up. Got to do it for the skipper. Oh, what is this? That's right, just putting him back in the ring, making sure the, the match continues. Rocky wants to use his funky weapon? I wouldn't go, oh, oh my, right out you go. I wouldn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the funky weapon of Taguchi. And he oh. lands right on him. Oh, my goodness. Shooting Peach off the uh, middle rope. It makes sense why he, why the O is falling off of the uh, the weapon there. Yeah. 
Taguchi now brings the match right back. Three amigos looking for forward. him and Dragon Lee. A third one. No, sir. Oh, trying to bring him up. Nice. Ooh. There you have it. The third one comes through and show. Olé. Definitely feeling two. And it's going to be a kick out. Looked like a handful of tights there. Referee needs to get on that. And the ankle lock. The ankle lock coming in here. Facing through. That's the clothesline. Taguchi's really got a read on whatever show wants to go for. Backs him up into the corner. This is how you get it started. They need to slow down the momentum that Taguchi was able to build up on. Elbows right to the face and a clothesline as well to boot. And another one. Nice stuff Step up. from Rapungi 3K. Once again. Great tag team wrestling. Double team maneuvers coming up. Oh! And there you have it, the 3K. Two. Dragon Lee's there for the stop, though. But Taguchi, he's reeling Taguchi after that one. Taguchi was done. There was no way he was kicking out of that. Dragon, Dragon Lee, Lee trying to saved. get some semblance of order for his team. and Oh, the disrespect. Double birds. Oh. Replies with double knees. And Taguchi is in the ring on his own. And now, look, I think they're going to set up for the 3K here. Oh. Oh. Throws him right down. This backcracker into the Yakuza kick. Now we're going to set up for the 3K. Dragon Lee, where is he to be found? This isn't looking good for Taguchi. Rapungi 3K. Going for the 3K, but Taguchi oh. manages to fight his way out of this one. Able to throw both of them against one another. The funky weapon again. Goes to the ropes. And another funky. Oh, oh, the atomic the drop gosh, there. The that has to hurt. But Dragon Lee now. Back in the oh, action. And what a knee. Right to the horrible. chin. But Cho's able to respond in turn. Drops oh. the snap German. What is going on right now? Dragon Lee brings the match right back in his team's favor, but oh, Show what? with the clothesline. Oh, oh. Western Lariat from Show. And oh. the funky weapon. It's a blank. Whiffs. That was full Hell Mary stats right there. Put all he had into it, only to land and crash onto the mat. I think at some point you got to use your fist there if you're Taguchi. The funky weapon. They've read it like an open book. There you have it, using the rope as an advantage. Dragon Lee comes down, and oh Ooh. my goodness, the Hurricane Rana right to the outside. I cannot believe what I just saw. Dragon Lee is astounding. A dead jump from inside the ring all the way to the apron and the Hurricane Rana. Beautiful. Wow. What a maneuver from Dragon Lee. But the action right back in the center of the ring. The front suplex from the Funky Weapon. Here we go again. Taguchi. Of, uh, Shinsuke. Oh. Whoa. Everything. Just throwing the kitchen sink at him. Funky weapon. Roll up. One, two. And Taguchi's able to kick out there, but that was so close. Yo, though, has the advantage. Gets the roll up. Two. And another kick out from Taguchi. Full Nelson lockup now. Trying to slow things down here, but Taguchi manages to make the reversal happen. Goes back for it and is able to connect with it. But yo, oh, I thought he was going to get out of the ring of the super kick right to the jaw and a kick in response from Taguchi. You can see on the outside, Dragon Lee preventing Show from getting in the ring and helping his partner. Oh, goes in for the roll up. Dragon Lee's getting held down and just everything being thrown at this. And oh. there you have it. I cannot believe it. Rapungi 3K. They fall. Dragon Lee and Taguchi get the win. Yusuke Taguchi with the roll of Yo is in disbelief. Yeah, what an upset. Count looks a bit fast to me. What an upset here at CEO Cross New Japan Pro Wrestling. Taguchi and Dragon Lee this manages to get the win, and I, I'm in disbelief. This has got to shoot them up to, for a contender, uh, for a contender's match for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team titles. Like it has to over uh, former champions like Rapongi 3K, an established tag team with tremendous chemistry. Wow. For them to pick up the W here, it's got to mean a future title shot. Potentially.
You may be right there, but we'll have to wait and see. But for now, though, let's take a look at the replays. What a matchup that was. Four amazing competitors. The splash from outside. Taguchi was really the difference maker. I mean, he almost ran over the official. Going over the top rope. That was the that was the, the you know the critical art of the funky weapon, to be honest. And this was mind blowing. Back into live action now. We're gonna see some respect from the two teams. I don't know if uh, Rocky Romero will be too happy about that. But what a matchup that was. You couldn't have asked for a better one from these four competitors. Yeah, you can see Rocky in the corner right there. Shaking his head in disappointment. Great ovation from these fans here in attendance. A rare delight to be able to see a performance of these caliber. And of course, like you said, Dragon Lee, not a full-time member of the New Japan lineup, but... Which is all the more a treat to see him here, right? At the At the CEO Cross New Japan show. Bringing New Japan pro wrestling here to the East Coast. Yeah, man, it's so awesome, right? We have Long Beach shows. We have the G1 Climax up in San Francisco coming up soon. But to get one here on the East Coast in Florida, I mean, it's real special. To do. Oh, yeah. I, I, as a New Yorker, I couldn't be more elated to see some New Japan on.